Hello everyone, welcome to Praise, Promises, and Prayer. Today we are looking at John 19, verses 30. John 19, 3, 0. When G Jesus therefore had received the vinegar, he said, It is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. Let us pray. O oh Lord, our Heavenly Father, as we examine the scripture there, Lord, we pray for your leading and guiding. We thank you for the Holy Spirit that you left with us. We thank you that you are a mighty God. We praise you. We come to you to your Son Jesus' name. Thank you. Um, as we examine the scripture, we find that um, Jesus was here to accomplish something. He was here um, to save mankind. So by dying on the cross, he accomplished just that. He had done many miracles, um, and that was good. He had... Um, drawn many to the kingdom, and that was good. He had trained the disciples, that was good. He, is ra he raised Lazarus from the dead, that was good. He did um, many things in, his, in the time of his ministry, for the time that he was here, 33 plus years, and for his ministry of three, three plus years, he accomplished many many things but he was here for one primary reason one main reason so if we just ask ourselves why was jesus here the bottom line he was here to save mankind he, all the stuff all the things that he did all those were great and well received well needed to to draw others to the kingdom and to open their eyes to who he was um, and everything changed once he came and died. Time changed. Um, the time was before Christ, and now we're in AD, after the death of Christ. So, 2,000 plus years, 2,020 plus years, to, to be exact, we now see and thank the Lord that he came to save us. So when his time came, when it was all finished, he said exactly that. Jesus said, it is finished. In today's terms, in, um, in our um, colloquial term, we would now say probably something like mission accomplished. Um, if you are a Star Trek fan, if you um, are watching um, a lot of movies, even if you were not a Star Trek fan, you might be watching some Star Trek now that you've watched everything else that you like. And we have a lot of time during this period of um, opening our eyes this year of 2020. Um, so Jesus said, it is finished, mission accomplished. And there was a good news to that. There was an extremely great news to that. This is the best news that mankind could ever receive. Because once he said it, it was finished, um, he and he gave up the ghost, we, all of us, Jews, Gentiles, all of us gave the best gift received the best gift that we could ever receive. He gave us the gift of salvation. He gave us the gift of eternal life. But now we have a responsibility. We are here also for a certain period of time. And just like Jesus was here, and he was here about the Father's business, and he was here to go to the cross, and when he had accomplished that he said it is finished when our time comes when we have been given a mandate to make disciples of men 
and women, children, our loved ones, are we going to be able to say, it is finished, mission accomplished, when we come face to face with God, is he going to look at us and say, well done, good and faithful servant. The Bible from Genesis to Revelation is real. <clears throat> John 19.30 is one of the most powerful, all of it is powerful, but John 19.30 is one of the most powerful scriptures that we should make sure during this Holy Week that we remember, we keep on our hearts, and we live um, with it in mind. When Jesus, therefore, had received the vinegar, he said, It is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. Let us thank the Lord that he was obedient to the cross. Let us thank the Lord that Jesus loved us so much that he sent his one and only Son that whosoever believe may have everlasting life, the gift of salvation. Oh, what a wonderful day. Let us close in a word of prayer. Lord, we thank you, we praise you, and we thank you that Jesus was obedient to the cross. And we thank you that he accomplished his mission. It is finished. We love you, we praise you, and we come to you today through his name. Amen and amen.